Hello everyone. I am Dr. Krishna Sharkar. Here in this session, I will be going to discuss about closed loop transfer function or overall transfer function calculation for unity negative feedback control system. This is linear control systems, lecture series on linear control systems and lecture number 20. So our new topics, closed loop transfer function or overall transfer function calculation for unity negative feedback control systems. Canonical form of closed loop control systems. R of S is called reference input or set point. This is also called the cause. And this is the comparator or summing point. And this input signal or reference input signal always positive because this is forward. And the output of the comparator signal is called actuating signals or error signals, E of S. E of S is called the actuating signal. And this is the input of control elements and controlled systems. And the control system gains G of S. And the overall output or controlled output equals to C of S. This is the forward path. This is the forward path because in this case, reference input RS and comparator ES and gain G of S and overall output C of S. So this is the forward path. And the forward path transfer function, concept of forward path transfer function G of S equals to what? Controlled output C of S divided by E of S actuating signal or error signal. This is the forward path transfer function. And in this, from this equation, C of S equals to what? G of S into E of S. G of S into E of S. This is the forward path. On, and C of S equals to controlled output. C of S equals to controlled output. Then for accuracy high, connect feedback path. And this feedback path, feedback element H of S equals to one. That's why this type of closed loop control system is called unity feedback closed loop control system because again, the feedback gain or feedback transfer function H of S equals to one. And the output B of S is called primary feedback signals, or this is the feedback signals Obviously, this is negative feedback control system. So canonical form of closed loop. This is closed loop. Unity feedback, negative unity feedback, and negative control system. Negative, also this is negative feedback control systems. Unity and negative feedback control systems. Where R of S equals to reference input or control variable. This input. This is the input signal, R of S equals to reference input or control variable. This is also called the cause of the systems. And C of S is called the controlled output or control variables. This is also called, this is also called effect of the systems. And E of S is called actuating signal or error signals. And H of S equals to feedback signal. And in this case, a of S equals to one. So B of Z of S is called the forward path transfer function. And what is the canonical form of the unity feedback control systems? This is the G of S system gain and E of S equals to actuating signal or error signals and the overall output C of S. So from figure, the transfer function G of S equals to what? C S by E S because transfer function forward path transfer function G of S equals to Laplace transform of output C of S divided by Laplace transform of input E of S. And C of S equals to what? G of S into E of S. So 
controlled output C of S equals to forward path gain and actuating signal. The controlled output, this is the controlled output E of S equivalent to G of S forward path gain into E of S actuating signals or error signals. Then connect R of S reference input and one comparator and feedback HS equals to one and this is negative feedback. The transfer function of the closed loop system can be deduced as follows. E of S equals to what? E of S equals to error signal and this error signal equivalent to this signal error signal equals to reference input R of S, reference input R of S minus B of S, minus B of S, because this is the output and this two input. And first signal R of S reference input, this is positive and B of S negative. That's why R of S minus B of S. So E of S equals to R of S minus B of S. And in this case, B of S equals to what? B of S equals to only C of S because A of S equals to one. So this is the equation number one, two, and this is last equation three. B of S equals to C of S. Then solve this three equation and calculate the overall transfer function CS by RS. Equation one, two, three. Eliminating B of S from equation two and three, and we have equation two, this is the equation two, this is the B of S. And equation three, this is the equation three, this is the B of S. So put here B of S magnitude C of S. Put here C of S. And we get E of S equals to what? R of S minus C of S because E of S equals to C of S. E of S, this is the equation number two, left hand side E of S, right hand side R of S, and this B of S equivalent to C of S because equation three B of S equals to C of S. And then this is equation number four, eliminating E of S from equation one and four, and we have eliminating E of S, equation one, this is the E of S, eliminating E of S, this is equation one, and from equation four, this is the E of S. So put here, put here, put here, E of S equals to R of S minus C of S. Put here, just put here, E of S position, R of S minus C of S. Then we get, then we get E of S, C of S equals to left hand side C of S equals to G of S, and E of S equals to R of S minus C of S within first bracket, R of S minus C of S. Then multiplying G of S into R of S minus this minus and G of S into C of S. This is the controlled output C of S. Then common, just common. Then C of S plus G of S into R C of S equals to G of S into R of S. Why? Because this is the left hand side C of S. This is the left hand side C of S. And right hand side minus G of S into C of S. So this is shifted left hand side and minus to plus and G S into C of S. And equals to G S into R of S. G S into R of S. Just left hand side to right, right hand side to left hand side. And then common C of S, then common C of S, and we get, this is the C of S, this is the C of S, this is the C of S, and we get, and we get one plus G of S into C of S equals to G of S into R of S, and C of S equals to G of S into R of S divided by one plus G of S, one plus G of S where one plus Z of S equals to characteristics equation, C of S equals to system controlled output and R of S equals to reference input. 
this reference input may be step ram parabolic impulse any type of input you can apply then ratio of the cs by rs cs by rs is called the transfer function for unity negative feedback system cs by rs equals to gs by 1 plus g of s 1 plus g of s this is the transfer function for negative feedback closed loop systems unity feedback also this is unity feedback because h s equals to 1 and from this equation 1 plus z of s equals to 0 is called characteristics equation characteristics equation this is also called the characteristics equation then negative unity feedback closed loop control system rs again the same block this is a negative feedback hence the above feedback system can be reduced can be reduced to a single block shown in figure below r of s reference input r of s reference input and cs by already proved one plus gs equals to c of s then c of s by r of s equals to gs by one plus gs into gs so cs by r s equals to gs by one plus g of s then positive unity feedback closed loop systems concept thus just feedback path positive otherwise same r of s e of s g of s c of s h of s equals to one and b of s primary feedback signal this is only positive so what is the transfer function for feedback positive and unity feedback that positive feedback system the transfer function is as cs by rs equals to gs by one minus g of s one minus g of s in this position positive that's why this is negative and one minus g of s is called the characteristics equation and the single diagram r of s reference input and the system gain gs by one minus gs the one minus gs and the overall output c of s so c of s by r of s equals to gs by one minus gs this is the single line block diagram then unity positive negative feedback control system that means just at a time positive either positive or negative for unity feedback system the transfer function is as cs by rs equals to gs by one minus plus g of s is g of s because h of s equals to one this is the unity positive negative feedback system what is the concept just here for positive this is negative and for negative feedback this is the positive question so s s equals to one and c s by r s equals to g s by one minus plus g of s and the single block is r of s different input g of s by one minus plus g of s equivalent output c s then again c s by r s equals to gained log gain c s by one minus plus g of s concept of characteristics equation for positive unity feedback system the transfer function c s by r s equals to one g s by one minus g s the denominator terms one minus g s is called the characteristics equation of the system for negative unity feedback system the transfer function is as c s by r s equals to g s by one plus g s the characteristics equation is one plus g of s equals to zero for this equation one minus g of s so this is low value and this efficiency is high or the transfer function magnitude is high and when this is positive that means negative unity feedback then this is positive and one plus g s equals to high that's why the c s by r s ratio is low so this is our concept for positive and negative feedback control systems unity feedback control systems then thank you